Hey, welcome back to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. So in this video, I want to show you something that I wish I learned quite early on when using Unreal. So up until recently, I would bring in textures at different resolutions so I could switch between them, which basically meant creating a texture sheet at 2048 by 2048 and then exporting 1024 and 512 textures at the same time. But there's a nifty little thing in Unreal, which actually allows us to do this within the editor. So all I'm doing here is I've got a custom asset library set up in my engine content, and it's just got some materials that I'm going to use as an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my materials, if I find my textures, substance source. So here's an example, actually. So you can see here I've got black iron, black cast iron, and I've got it at 2048, 1024, and 512. So I was bringing them in individually, so I could then uh, cast Iron Master. I'll be, I'll open it up because I think I'm using the main master material. So you can see here, I've actually got it set. So I could change the resolution of my materials if needed. And this is, trust me, this is not good. <laughs> so I actually found out that what I could do instead is if I go to my textures, Substance source, uh, black cast iron, 2048. So I'll open this texture up here. Uh, maybe not the best one. I might need something with a little bit more detail. I've got noise. Uh, something we'll see it a little bit better. I want something with a good resolution. These are 1024. All right. This should work, 1024. So you can see here, if you keep close eye on the top right, we actually have imported size is 1024 by 1024 and currently we're seeing it at 1024 in game and then resource size so if you're working on something like the oculus quest this is what you want to try and keep down this is already quite quite low but you can get it lower so what you might see on your side is under compression you got this little arrow here show advanced on this you've actually got maximum texture size what we can do is we can actually change this to change the resolution of our image. So zero by default means we're viewing it at the maximum resolution that it was imported with. So 1024 by 1024. So if I change this to 512 now and hit enter, you might not be able to see it too well. I'll zoom in a little bit, but we're now displaying it at 512 by 512. In game it's 512 and we've actually dropped the memory footprint that we're actually using it for. So zero, so originally it was 683 kil kilobytes. And now if we drop it by half, we're down to 171 kilobytes. And you can even see the difference on the texture in the viewport. So you can see we're actually dropping the resolution. And then if I go 256, we'll drop it even further. And then you've actually got as much control over this as you need. And you can just do it as you want. So we can hit save here close that down. Now that's going to be in here. So dimensions 1024, but in the editor, we are actually viewing it at 128. And then, so we've saved it, we've closed it, and now we need to come back in. We need to actually increase this back up. We can actually go back and do zero, and it'll bring us straight back to what we originally had. So this was a quick video. I hope this helps in some way. You can do a lot more to reduce your memory size, but if you're working with certain devices and headsets, this might be a really good way to do it. So hopefully you can give this a shot. It might save you some time of exporting textures and bringing them back in. So if you like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell if you want to keep up to date with current videos as I release them. We also actually have a Discord, which I'll be linking in the description, as well as some other pages, which you might like. So hope to see you over there until the next one. I hope this worked out well. Until then, stay safe. Bye.